Ladies and gentlemen, I am the War Boss Squee, and this is Fallout 4 Survival with mods. Now, <laughs> I managed to get past the area where it kept crashing on me. Just found uh, Gorski's cabin over there, which we are not going into right now. And killed a bunch of ghouls on the way. And now, we are going to head back to Sanctuary. I need to go back to uh, Ten Pines Bluff and turn in the quest that I got from Preston Garvey, but we're hungry, we're tired, and we're thirsty. And we're also addicted to buff out, because I got greedy. Never a great combination, to be honest. So we need to handle all that, and then we can go over and take care of business. And hopefully nothing freezes on me before that actually happens. That would be tragic. Come on, get over there. So thankfully everything has gone fairly smoothly. We got our bobblehead, we got our raiders, and we got a whole bunch of ammo and goodies. I am sitting on a massive amount of minigun ammo. Which is actually really, really good in my opinion. Where is it? Ah. And the trees always throw me off. And of course, Sanctuary still has this wall. I haven't gotten rid of that mod. It's... Now that I think about it, it doesn't really matter if there's a, a wall or not. If Sanctuary gets attacked... Well... Garvey? Where the hell are you? I actually hope the one thing I was hoping was going to happen was that having a wall would fix his pathing issues, but where the crap is he? Oh, he's over here. Garvey. Man could use someone like you. Excuse me. Take care of your gun. It'll take care of you. All right, he's not going to talk to me until the quest is done. Yeah, I was really hoping that if I had a wall up, he'd actually stay inside for once. I guess that was. Just wishful thinking. That is one problem I have with Garvey, especially in Sanctuary. He just wanders everywhere. For a while, there, he'll get, just get bugged and wind up in the middle of the river for months on end. It's utterly insane. All right. Don't take offense, of course. All right. There's that. Quick, give me back my bottles, please. I need my bottles. Alright, come on. There we go. It's like I know I have some more of those. Of course, now that I think about it, there is some purified water in here for me. Lovely. Alright, already making my life easier. Okay, let's just dump everything in here. Dog meat, where you at? Mildly dehydrated. That's not a good place to be. Dogs. What did dog possibly find over here? Where the hell is he going? Dog meat? Where the hell did he go? Is that a gun from one of the raiders? Good dog, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess you can't argue with the results. 
All right, let's have ourselves a nice drink. It looks like something's wrong with my face. Um. God damn it, Fallout. Really? I really wish I was surprised. Apparently my character is enjoying the benefits of blackface. <laughs> oh my god, why is that even a thing? I swear to God, this game sometimes just drives me nuts. Alright. Let's drop that. Thirsty again, so that needs more water. I'm in blackface. I... Seriously, why is that even a thing? I don't... I don't understand. One of these houses would be a good place to set up some beds. Yeah, I have a bed. I just have to remember where I left it. Boop. It's been a while since we've been back here. There we go. Eh, let's get a full... 14 hours of sleep. That should be plenty. I feel ill from fatigue, but there's not really anything I can do about it at the moment. Alright, so. I still have stuff in my inventory. Yeah, I do. Okay. So. This is the thing I wanted to test. Where? Okay, seriously, what the hell? There we go. Army helmet and gas mask with goggles. See if we can combine these two items while we're wearing them. With this mod, I should be able to. There we go. Nice. Okay, good. There's no reason why that shouldn't work together to begin with. Now, one's a face... Gas masks in real life are meant to be worn with military helmets if you've ever been in the military. Right, so let's eat some of this yummy food we've got. Okay. Do I have... I don't have any antibiotics, which really sucks. I'm going to have to find someone that can sell me some. Unfortunately, I can't make any yet. Which is... A trifle bit annoying, not gonna lie. No, that's not what I wanted. Well, the good news is, at least, is that uh, it covers my blackface. For lack of a better term. Let's take it off and see if it's corrected that. Nope, still in blackface. <laughs> so I guess we're just gonna, we're gonna have to keep that. Hey, that's not a bad look. Kind of dig that. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I wonder how that looks with the sea captain's hat. It's plus two endurance, too. Also looks good. I am loving this mod. And, of course, because we can, a formal hat. See, now this looks like Unhallowed Metropolis right there, and I like Unhallowed Metropolis. Everybody wears a suit, everybody's got their nice hat, and their gas mask. <laughs> uh, can't go wrong with that. Alright, so now we've got the details worked out. Let's see what we're going to take with us on this little trip. Let's see, definitely take a pistol... 
Take my grenades. Not taking that. Okay. I got the militiaman's hat too. I really want Preston Garvey's Hope you find your son. Uh, militiaman hat, to be honest. That would be fantastic. Alright, so let's put on Hardened Automatic Receiver. Since I have so much adhesive. See, I don't want the circle. I want the square. Uh, takes the same amount of stuff, so it's really down to preference. Let's go with the circle. There we go. That's a good weapon. We can do better with that, so we're going to hold on to those. Can't break that down. We are selling that, though, because God knows we don't need that. Yeah. Alright, that's fine right there. Let's dump some of the stuff in here. Let's see. I'm sure somebody will come wandering in that I can sell that to. Actually, just take that with me in case I come across a traveling salesman or something. What a useless weapon. Jesus, God. Alright, so... It's all good stuff. Keep that. Keep that. I don't really need this, to be honest. Okay, that stuff's all gonna stay. None of this stuff costs any weight. Oh, well, that does, but that's okay. Oh yeah, and I got a bunch of empty bottles that need to be turned into water. How could I possibly forget that? Yeah, poor June. That guy's had like the worst life ever. This conversation has proved, just goes to prove that Mama Murphy's been doing a lot of drugs for a lot of time. <laughs> I think that's enough. Yeah, or quite the imagination. All right, probably should grab some ammo. This year don't look like paradise. Let's see. There's that. That should be enough. Let's see, what is so heavy that I'm carrying? Besides the water, I know there's lots of water. Twelve of those. That's only six pounds. Alright, maybe we should trim this down a bit. Uh, blood packs will stick in there. Most of the stuff just isn't that heavy. <sighs> Only carrying that for dog meat. Nice. Well, that's nothing a little elbow grease can't fix. Yeah, we're not dealing with that right now. All right, come on, dog meat. 
before I forget. Because I am really bad about this sort of stuff. There we go. That's a lot of recoil. That's better, though. Actually, you know can I put a drum magazine on this thing? That might be helpful as well. Let's see. Drum magazine. Can't get to the big one yet. That would be nice, though. Can't do the suppressor till gun nut two. That's worked out. I'll use the last my adhesive for that. Knock some weight off it. You're tied to this place. <sighs> That's gonna take some doing. Yeah, I'm out of adhe adhesive. That's okay. I will get plenty more where that came from. I used to live here a long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that ice box. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from. Yeah, not according to his reactions to everything. I can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. Here. Already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? <laughs> yes, I do, actually. Now, let me ride the high to where the sight wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's going to lead you to your boy. Oh, it's, it's bright. So bright <laughs> against the dark alleys it walks. That's, that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew. Wow. Right. I will say that... Uh... Mama's Murphy's prophecies, while useful, they do take a little bit of deciphering. Are you ready to talk to me yet? Stay sharp. Don't let your guard down. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, that looks nice and pretty. All right. So yeah, what time? I don't even know what time it is. I don't remember how you check the time in this game. I think you have to sit down on something. It's okay, though. We should be able to handle our... Getting all the way to ten pines with no problem. Probably ought to drink some water, though. Am I thirsty? Ah, how am I thirsty? Always thirsty, apparently. Alright, let's see. We've got weakness and fatigue. Really need to see a doctor at some point about that. Thankfully, we've killed everything over here. With the exception of those. Oh, damn it. There we go. You know, I need to go get the other... Uh, Survival God, I need to get double meat off targets. That's going to help immensely. What is that glow up there? Better, yet, better question, why is it glowing? That doesn't make any sense. I think we're going to have to go check that out if we can. Oh, 
Huh. I have never noticed that glow before. I'm pretty sure there's some Meyer lurks over here, but... Huh. That's certainly weird. Ah, oh, glowing fungus. Oh. That is literally exactly... Oh, shit. We need to go. Yeah, those are my lurk eggs. Don't want to be anywhere around for that crap. Yeah, let's just avoid that if we can. <laughs> so as soon as I saw the eggs, I was like, oh god, we need to be away from here. But yeah. The lighting effects are so much nicer now. And if I am, like, running in the dark at the moment. I'm okay with that, though. Real nice if I could run into a wandering doctor. Let's see. I should be getting pretty close. So between the dark and the new terrain, I'd say this is actually a lot more interesting than I thought it was going to be. Okay, just had to check the brackets to make sure nothing was sneaking up on me. Oh yeah, been meaning to come back here. Upsy daisy, upsy daisy. I'm on you. All right. So once we get this quest turned in and we go back and talk to President Garvey, because it requires two trips to make all this happen. Hello. Look at the freebie stuff. Ah, Nuka Cola, always nice. And a coffee cup. And some 10mm ten, ten ammo. I'll definitely take that. I've never noticed that before. Alright, so I just want to make sure there was nothing there. And as you can see, the sun's starting to come up a little bit. Dawn's breaking, so things are starting to become a little bit more clear. God, I love this mod so much. There we go. That's what we want. Anyway, as I was about to say before I got sidetracked, is that once we go back and talk to Preston, we can then pr proceed to start using that flare gun he's going to give us. And I am really looking forward to trying that out. Hey there. Find those raiders? Yeah, I kicked their asses for you. No kidding. <laughs> That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Awesome. Now, I could build these guys some defenses, but quite frankly, I don't have the supplies right now. Uh, once I get up to Charisma 6, which I am two off of, and get local leader, once I get my supply lines established, then we'll see about fixing this place up. But more than likely, I'm just going to abandon it and move those people elsewhere. I've never particularly liked the... Uh, Ten Pines Bluff. Ah, dirty water. 
Something was moving besides dog meat. I guess not. All right, let's go swing by uh, Thicket's excavation because that's going to lead into something later on. And refresh my memory. Where's Thicket's ex excavation again? I know I passed it. Ah, oh. up a ways. I'm on. Upsy daisy. Ah, there it is. Ah, so thicket. He's a bad, bad man. But even bad men can be useful. God, I love that. <laughs> I don't know why you're still called dog. Shouldn't you be dog meat at this point? All right, can we take this stuff? Apparently, yes, we can. Okay. Good job, dog meat. A little bit to the right. Make that a little bit to the left. There we go. Nice. I'll take it. Well, that was definitely not the right direction to be doing it. Got it. And I'll take the shotgun shells too, why not? Yeah, these guys... Ornate obelisks. Hmm. Oh, didn't mean to hit that again. Ah, let's see. Sully's log. Yep. He's a raider. I'll just hold on to that for now. I don't know if that's going to change anything if I already know he's an asshole before I go talk to him. It's actually never really been a problem before. Speaking of which, is he even awake yet? There he is. <clears throat> Looking to earn some caps? I could use a hand here if you're all done gawking, you know. I could probably help. Or a few caps extra. I was gonna give you something anyway. Seventy-five caps for your time. Let's, Let's try some more. A couple more caps might change my mind, though. Not gonna make this easy, are you? All right, a hundred caps then. What do you need help with? I don't want to be too greedy. The pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could fix them? The leaks will be underwater. Look for bubbles, and you should find them. Yes, we are going to go swim in irradiated water without the benefit of a radiation suit. That is a smart thing to do. Nice. Ah, uh, tribal tattoo. I don't know what kind of tattoo that is I just unlocked. I'm taking that out. By the way, duct tape mine. Yeah, take the turpentine too while I'm at it. And the stem pack. Bandage scissors. Eh. Alright, so. Now, our gas mask is going to help us out a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. I didn't bring the vault suit. I thought I did. Okay. Let's see. That's fine. I can be parched. Dog meat, stop pushing me. 
All right. Really would be nice if I could tell how long I was holding my breath. Over here. No. Okay. Where are the other bubbles? There's one. <laughs> All right. And the third one that I can't see. Get up here, please. I don't see the last one anywhere. Ah, over there. Okay. There we go. There it is. Come on. I'm drifting with the tides, apparently. <gasps> All right, there we go. Well, that was a little bit more fun than I thought it was going to be, and I picked up a lot more rads than I was hoping, but... That's okay. Let's just have some water while we're at it. I'm just gonna take all your stuff, pal. Hmm. What if I redirect the flow through here? <clears throat> That's a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. And he seems like such a nice guy, too. Whoa, God. That's gonna suck. Get away, get away, get away, get away. A legendary Meyer alert. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, okay. We've got a problem here, boys and girls. Fear the power of Psycho Jet, you frickin' monster. Whew. Oh, hello. Nice! Ah, for frickin' crying out loud. Good job, dog meat. You kept him busy for me. All right, Mathis. Where are you at? Maybe if I close off this intake, I can get enough pressure. I don't Excuse care me. about your pressure. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that started off. Anyway, I still got some tinkering to do on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard now, though. Thanks for pitching in. There's a little something before you clear out. Nice. And leveled up. Beautiful. Now what shall I do with it? I wonder. Uh. Chem resistant would be good. Let's just pump it into endurance for now. Wait a minute, is that an auto pistol as well? Yeah, nice. So that got a little bit more exciting. I was not expecting a legendary Meyer alert to show up. Psycho Jet is the best kind of jet. Now let's hear it for the power of drugs. <laughs> ah, nothing quite as good as a good boot full of drugs. And I'm tired, that's okay. Alright, 
just in case, there's usually something up here. <coughs> this is one of those areas where I always find something, be it... Uh, Oh, sorry about that. I'm taking your duct tape. I've seen synths, wild dogs, uh, settlers, raiders, you name it. Oh. Need I forget ghouls? Dog found something, yes. Dog found a corpse. Jeez, those guys came out of friggin' nowhere. Dog tags. Like I said, settlers. There's always something over here. Was not, however, expecting three ghouls out of friggin' nowhere. There he is. Well, that was certainly brisk. Right, I think it's time we got back up to Sanctuary and talked to Preston and tried out that new flare gun. No, we're actually in sunlight. Let's take a look and see how this really looks. Oh, yeah. I am digging this quite a bit. That works really well together. Not gonna lie. I'm a happy camper. Yeah. Alright, so we're thirsty, we're hungry, and we're still sick. I haven't come across a trader with any antibiotics yet, which is a little bit unfortunate, but... Unfortunately, I don't know how stuff like the uh, microbacterial and uh, the, t the, the herbal teas and stuff... I've never figured out how those work. I should probably check online. I'm sure somebody's got some great write-up about them and stuff, but... I never figured it out myself. <sighs> yeah. It hiccup for a second there. I thought it just froze. I was like, oh god, don't tell me I just lost all my progress. I will be so mad. Alright, Preston. Are you in the river again? God damn it. Yeah, he is. You know what? No, I'm not, I'm not standing in here talking to you. Here. Why don't you come on up here, Preston? If you want to irradiate your balls off, that's your business. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby... That's area. what I'm looking for. How much use yet? But once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never oh, he's got a hunting rifle now. I'm listening. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? You guys came from Quincy, didn't you? That's right. Mama Murphy, Sturges, the Longs. They were all from Quincy. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Which is only a, a horrible thing. Alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. 
One disaster after another. You saw how it ended when conquered. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone uh, in the Commonwealth knew about that. I didn't realize that was going to be a repetitive. Uh, I was with Colonel Hollis's group. Yeah, and okay, we already know about that. We were the only one. Only a few of us got out of it. Right. We never found I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Isn't yeah. that the understatement of the century? Yes, you do. <laughs> That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen. Oh, why I couldn't he, though? Why can't you leave the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Okay. I'll do it. Might as Good. well. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new start for the Minutemen. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you. Yeah, you I think I like him better with the beard. General. So, if I'm a general, where's my army? You're looking at it, I'm afraid. But I wasn't joking when I called you that. The leader of the <laughs> Miniman has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. Yeah, no he direct chain of command. The last Miniman is... Yeah. There's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's <laughs> your job to make it more than an empty title. Got a strange message from a robot. Said it was from some place called Grey Garden. I couldn't figure out exactly what it wanted, but well, may as well check it out. You never know. Yeah, we are else definitely not going down there right now. Yeah, that's gonna lead us into a bunch of super mutants. That would be a bad thing. As I say, as I say, are we still locked in the conversation? There we go. Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage. Don't worry, dog meat. I'll take good care of them. Excuse me. Right, let's take a look at your inventory real quick, pal. I want to trade a few <coughs> things. Whatever you need, General. All right. Got okay. uniform cover. Jeez, he might be tankier than I am. There's Pete Cap. Anything else? I want to trade a few things. Sure thing. Oh, I guess he does have hair. Uh, oh, I, crap! I took all this stuff. That's not what I wanted to do. Damn it! I have to simply unequip it. Uh, did I take his rifle too? It doesn't look like it. Let's see, where are the flares? Okay, how do you... That's how you do it. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. <coughs> no, nothing. No problem. Okay, yeah, dog. Not telling me you're getting caught up by the, by this too. Oh, jeez. All right, so I guess this is as good a time as any to start wearing this uniform. Yeah, that shows and say that should take place of all that. It's got that nice symbol right there, kind of reminiscent of the Brotherhood of Steel, but that's the uh, Hellfire Minutemen Brigade or something like that. God, I'm still black. What the hell is that? Uh, it's so weird. I look like I belong in the Death Corps Krieg uh, Imperial Guard Unit Regiment. Which, I'll admit, is a favorite of mine. You know what? Come on. 
Any particular reason why I can't activate my workbench? I don't know. What are you building? All right. All right, let's try this out. I've always, I've been wanting to try this since I got this. Let's see who comes running up. Um, the crap did those guys come from? Almost acting like they got airdropped. And there were in T-51. Oh, they're paratroopers. Oh, they're paratroopers. They... He's, he's got a... <laughs> what the hell? Yes. He's got a fucking Gatling laser General. and a plasma gun. Hey there. Huh? Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Huh? These guys are awesome. Unfortunately, I think they're a little bit too powerful for what we're doing right now. Well, maybe we try the light infantry guys instead. Who also came in on a rooftop <laughs> for because reasons. Now, these guys stick around until you fast travel or I presume go to sleep, so they'll be around for a while. <clears throat> Plasma guns. A heavy trooper. Hey. Hello, sir. She's got a backpack. Hey there. Yeah. Trooper Captain. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, they're all hey. armed with plasma yeah. guns too. That's awesome. <clears throat> and Preston has a flare gun of his own, and it calls in the big guys. Sir, welcome back, sir. I do hope oh yeah. Find some in I haven't talked to him yet, have I? You could say that. I made a few new friends. A lot of new friends. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. No, not now. All right, then. Good Lord, look at all the freaking Minutemen badasses. This is... This is just a bit too much, I'm not going to lie. Well, apparently I'm not the only one that had the idea with the gas mask and the helmet, so... Screw me for being original, I suppose. Now oh, that is too nuts. <laughs> All right. Now that I've got this going on... Let's go bring that chem station over here. Uh, blue house, yellow house, I don't remember. You know what? I'm thinking it was the yellow house. Yep, there it is. Just get that out of the way. Alright, so we're going to have to see if these guys stick around when I take a nap, because I'd like to get rid of them. I think they're going to kind of bounce, the thing, bounce things just a little bit if I keep them around. There we go. <laughs> what do I need for... Antibiotics? Oh, healing. Uh, well, robotic repair kits, I can actually make those. That's good to know. The box. Chemist 1, Glowing Fungus, so I have most everything I need. Refreshing beverages, that's a good one. I need blood packs, I have blood packs, so...
cutting fluid, oil and steel, can make traps. That was fun. Syringer ammo. I think some of these are new. Maybe not. Demolition expert. Yeah, I definitely need this. Plasma mines are awesome. One of these houses would be a good place to set up some beds. Yes, it would. You just have to be patient for a minute, right? Speaking of beds. Um, they're still here. I don't know how long they're going to follow me around. Well, they say that they stick around, they're supposed to stick around until you fast travel. Obviously, can't fast travel because of the fact that, uh, you know, survival mode and all. See if they stick around if I uh, go through a load, load zone. Really hoping not, or else this is going to be a very crowded root cellar. Holy shit. <laughs> oh god, this is going to be horrible. Oh, I hope I can loot these guys. This. I hope I can loot these guys when they die, or else that's going to be real disappointing. Pardon me, guys. Okay, so I don't know what to do about this now. <laughs> So I've got a uh, bunch of, you know, infantry and guys in powered armor. I I don't even. I really just don't even. All right. Well, let's get around to actually fixing up our power armor because it took a bit of a beating. Oh, I do have the Minutemen paint job now. Nice. Let's do that. I wonder if I can use this with all the other ones as well. I don't know if that it changes the uh, paint job options for the different armors. We're going to need some more fusion cores before we take this bad boy out. Why did my health just go up and down? Yeah. Alright. Well. Let's get rid of our radiation problem. Yeah, there's just way too many guys running around right now. We we gotta do something about that. Good lord, how hungry am I? Apparently all the hungry. And I'm gonna need some sleep, but I've also got... Do I have those thingamajigs that... There we go. At least those don't make you thirsty. Some days are harder than others. All right, I think we're gonna take a full nap here, and we're gonna call it apart, only because I, I'm kind of at a loss at what what to do now. I've got all these guys here. I gotta get rid of them somehow. Hello, sir. So yes, hello. Very nice of you. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna call it apart here, and I'm gonna have to see what to do about these guys because I can't have them all running around. I have been the Warboss Squee, and I will see you next time. Peace.